What's up, everybody? Spare Water Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers with another update episode. And this one's pretty interesting. Once again, hot off the uh, last episode of me saying they should probably work on fixing things instead of adding new things. They added new things. But I don't care, because it's awesome. Um, also, don't take that too much to heart. Like, when I complain about features or... or bugs. It's not really that I'm saying that they're doing a bad job. They're doing a phenomenal job. They're just things I'm pointing out that I would like fixed. But, moving on. So, this has a couple of big things. The biggest ones are wheels, which are these doohiggy- oh my gosh, those are huge. That's not the one that I meant to pick. There's three different types. There's a 5x- five five, oh my. 5x5, five five, a 3x3, three three, and the 1x1. One 3 by 3s are, like, huge. They're all huge. Uh, that could be because I'm on a... attaching to a large ship, though. So let's go ahead and grab these, just in case they're smaller. So what we're gonna do... Actually, we could use this little, little guy over here. Um, there was some minor... Oh, whoa. Minor bug tw tweaks. Bug fixes, is what I meant to say. Um, as well, but the main updates are as followed. There are wheels. There are decoy blocks, which attract the auto turret fire. And you guessed it, the auto turrets, the rocket launchers, and the gatling turrets are now functional for large ships. Now, it's important to note that these missile turrets are not, from what I understand. It's, um... It's the rocket launchers that are. And we'll get to that in a minute. So first things first. Let's go ahead... And put that there. Um, let's see... Let's do something simple. Like... So what you do from watching the uh, devs one that they did... Oh, okay. See, it does get a lot smaller. There we go. You put a rotor and a wheel, just like so. And then essentially what you're going to do is turn the uh, rotor off so that it... Oh, let's not put that there, actually. Let's put it up here. Like so. Uh, these. There. That gives us enough room in between. We'll make a little dune buggy... If only it were this simple on Kerbal, I could rescue my people that are trapped there. Um, oh, I think by the time this goes up, that'll make sense. I think. So, let's... Let's put... Power here. Right? This is just going to be a simple little machinery doodad. Um, gyro... Yeah, we probably don't need that many for as small as it is. Artificial gravity, or artificial mass block there, which will take the place of the stone. Now let's put a block, whoa, freak out, block here, and a block here. That should be good enough, I think, to showcase the main, whoops, wrong button, main features. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll work. So now, if we log into this guy and unlock it... I do love those artificial mass blocks that you don't have to do... Like, collect stone anymore, like the good old days. Uh, why am I not... Oh! Oh, right, right. I... I know what I did. Turn these off. And boom! Whee! Clunk! You have... wait a minute. Why is this... oh, okay. I guess there's not enough artificial mass? Alright, let's put... let's fix that then. There we go. Is that better? That looks better. Uh, still not perfect, actually. I think it's staying... no, it's not really staying on the ground. So, all we'd have to do, really, is... I don't think we could put it here, but you could put some under here, just to add weight to it so it stays on the ground. Might be a... 
better option. And it's probably just my design. Like, I'm, I probably derp something up to where it's not really that good or something. But yeah, you get the idea. Wheels! We have wheels. Wheels can be used now. It's amazing. Um, let's see what happens if you're if you pull up on the stick, back on the stick. Pop a wheelie. Can we, pop a <gasps> we can make motorbikes. That would be awesome. I don't know how. It would have to be a large ship, I guess. Huh. If you made a large ship with these tires. That's a pretty big motorbike. But if you don't, you'd be stuck with this cockpit, which would be weird. But yeah, you could totally do it. But yeah, this lets you make little dune buggies now type of thing. Which I think is pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Let's... Change this. Just because I'm derping around with this. Not really because it matters. Something like that. So we have more... Oomph. Um, whoa. That wouldn't work. Okay, so that nothing breaks. Now let's try that. I know the power usage is over, but who cares. So the tires are still coming off the ground. I don't really know why and why it's so bobbly. I probably just built something wrong and it's doing derpy things. I don't know. Now the one thing that I wanted to know is can you... You can! Oh my! So check this out. Here's what I'm thinking. Just so all of you know where my head's at and why I'm freaking out right now. If you do this, right, and then you use something like this... Okay. It looks like a wheel, but what happens if you were to do this? Hmm. Interesting. Why would you want to do that, you ask? I'm not entirely sure yet, but... <laughs> the the thing that I was thinking of... Is you could do something like this, is actually what I think I was going for. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. But if you turn this off... And then... Turned this on. Right? So you could make like a piston-y type maneuver, my, uh, thing. I know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone. Um, actually... Now that I think about it... Oops. You could actually do... Let's get rid of this stuff. We don't really need it. Um, you can do one of these. Yes! There you go. Now put one of the... Oh, it's moving. Maybe. Is it because it's moving? I can't tell. Oops. Oops. I'm just jacking things up. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Like that. Now, let's see... Why can't I place that on the edge, I wonder? So it's really not that much different than the other one. Weird. Anyways, you see where I'm going with that. That you could actually make new piston-type designs, which would be fun. Um, let's see. What's the best way to demonstrate some of this other stuff? Let's grab utensils, which is large rockets, scaling turrets. We don't need those. Auto turrets and decoys. Right? Right. Good. So. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's put, oh, they have a loading bay. How interesting. Uh, let's grab some of these. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know why I have hiccups. I apologize. Um, let's put them um, like this, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay. So we'll put auto turret here. Why are you that way? Go that way. Nope. That. Stop it. That way. There we go. Let's put... Ooh, the Gatling gun changed. It has a little box for it now. Oh, look at it move! Oh, that's so cool! What is this thing? Oh, for the ammo. Okay, so that's the Gatling turret ammo box type thing. Does this have an ammo? I guess it should. Shouldn't it? So T doesn't do anything. Interior turret radius 800 meters? Are you joking? Ah, there it is. So that's the box. That's the control panel, I guess. This one's control panel is back here. It has an... Wait, use conveyor system. Ooh, that's pretty slick. So this one doesn't have that. This one does, so you could just feed this ammo through conveyors. Now, this one, I'm assuming... Gatling turret, platform, assembler, grody, infinity... Okay, so this one doesn't show up. So, um, you don't control it really. But look at all the missiles. So, let's do... Don't ask me what I'm doing right now. Let's do a simple... Nope. Dang it. A simple target practice board. Come on. I don't know what shape or dimension I'm making. I'm just going. There we go. Something like that. Now, from what I understand, you could make these fly away and stuff, too. Um, like, they don't have to be stationary objects. Okay, turn you off. Turn your radius way down. Because I don't want you to instantly shoot everything. Okay. So let's just throw some targets up on the board here. One... Like that. So this one is for... the missile turret. Let's test that one out first. Uh... What is it? Oh, can you take control? Of no, you can't. Okay. So, we select missiles. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Look at how fast that fires! Oh, that's so awesome! Man, you would shoot through rockets like nothing. Okay. Time to... Activate... The other turrets. So they can target them. So you can see what they're locked onto, but because the radius is too low, it won't do anything. So they're shooting- are they shooting them until they don't have a certain durability anymore, I guess? I'm trying to figure out when they change. I guess it's just over time. Oh. My. Goodness! That is so cool. That is so cool! Oh, and one other thing. Um, from what I understand, I don't have it set up in this world. Um, but these turrets, I don't think the interior ones will, but the Gatling turrets are supposed to also target the meteors that can fly through here if you've got a meteor set up. What is with this rock? Why does it look so weird? Sorry, I know I'm getting a sidetrack, but what is this? Is this an ore? Or did they change the stone che stone texture? Iron... I'm very confused. That's stone? 
looks like coal or obsidian or something. Anyways. So yeah. I guess their durability point is too low now at this point. So let's try to have some fun. Right? Because this can't go wrong at all. Ever. This thing is now packing some serious heat. Okay, and for good measure, let's slap on a couple... Uh, wrong way, I guess. Let's slap on a couple turrets, just for the heck of it. Oh, wait, you're facing the wrong way. I guess. I don't know which way they're supposed to face. Oh, is that too close within too many spaces, I guess? Okay, let's do something like this then. There we go. And then, where did I put this other one? Not that it really matters. One behind that, okay. That's good enough. Um, let's grab this cockpit. I'm gonna fly it from the top. Because why not? You can do it! Oh, and I didn't actually put, um... I didn't put any decoys on anything either. Now that I think about it. I'm just throwing these on for testing purposes. That way I can move this more. It's faster than, believe it or not, it's faster than building a whole other ship, in my opinion. Um, so let's throw... Oh, wow. Oh, my. That thing's radius is ridiculous. Oh, yes, sir. So that's pretty epic. Okay. Now... This is going to go terribly. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I broke off. Did I break off my missiles? No, I guess they're all still intact. I didn't hit them. Whew. That's a close one. That's way too close. <laughs> Open fire. Oh my. Like, you know this is an ammo guzzler right now. Oh, but you could have so much fun. Oh my. <laughs> I think I might have just found the best part of this update. Rapid fire large ship missile launchers that destroy everything. I would so be out of ammo by now, but look at how epic! Oh, yeah. Uh, one other thing that I want to do let's get out of here, break you. Break you, because no one cares. Woo! Wait. Break you. There we go. Right where I wanted to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can poke a hole if we hit this with enough missiles that we can poke a hole through the asteroid and then we'll end the episode. Other than the fact that you're not getting any ores out of this, this is how you drill. Oh, we're already through! 
Holy crap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're done. Fighter ship caught, caught in those crossfires. You're screwed. Okay, so I gotta have way too much fun with this. I think I already am. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Peace! So, some of you might be wondering what I'm doing here now. Well, I'll tell you. It gave me an idea in the last episode that I was... I mean, well, it's still part of this episode, but the game update that they did. That last part where I was blowing up the asteroid, I thought to myself, that would be really cool if you'd put, like, a ship with broadside guns and... Oh, wait a minute. So, I decided to test it out. Um, now, there's still a lot of problems with this, but I would like you to meet... Ta-da! The Black Pearl version 2, which I got rid of the small ships and put the rocket pods on them. Yeah! It's about as cool as it sounds. And I also added a couple chase guns, too. Um, since they were only one blocks now. Now, the biggest problem is when I designed this ship, they didn't have thruster damage. So, yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Unless you turn off thruster damage, then it's not a problem. But, you've got to check this out. It is so awesome. Oh, and I also changed the cockpit to one of the, I think it's the third version. Um, so that if you got into it, you can actually do this like you were, you know sailing the actual ship um but he 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 ready ready prepare to broadside fire how cool is that i know i'm killing my frames right now but i don't care wait i can't even see my view distance is too off. Crap. You can kind of see all the rockets going. Okay. It's really laggy, I know. What am I blowing up over here? Oh, crap! I didn't even realize that was that close. Oops. Wrong... Wrong way. Roll. There we go. Bring it over. And broadside! So yeah, this is totally... <laughs> I'm gonna break something. Oh! What is... What, what is... Oh, the ship's getting ricocheted rocks! What?! Didn't see that coming. So yeah, it's about as awesome as it sounds. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with that for ideas of your own. And at some point I'll probably revisit this and make like a version 2 that has the thruster damage taken into account and some reworked design and all that good stuff since they've made new blocks and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm actually gonna end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you next time. Peace.